Hi everyone, this is Oliver Lucanus, Conservation Ambassador at Flubal Aquatics. I thought we'd have a look at fish aggression and predators in the next few videos and to give you some tips about how to deal with fish that are more difficult to keep. Let's start by looking at predatory fish. I'm sure most of you have thought about keeping predators, but there are some simple considerations before you bring home a fish that may not get along with the others. It's always better to set up an aquarium just for this new fish. Few predators are schooling fish, and it will be better to learn about the new fish if you have an aquarium dedicated for it. The old rule that any fish will eat any other fish providing it fits in its mouth is often accurate, and community tanks with predators are tricky. I will make a video with potential tank mates for predatory fish in the future. The things to consider are always size, food, and aggression. Ambush predators need smaller aquariums, but when they are not eating, they are not the most exciting fish to keep. When they are not hunting for food, they usually sit motionless in the same place. It is important to consider the final size of your fish, because it's not so bad to have a small aquarium permanently occupied by a single fish, but if you have limited space, having a fish that spends most of the day in a cave in your largest aquarium will eventually get boring. Research a little bit how your predators live in nature. Many ambush predators like to have a large enough cave and prefer dim lighting, while species that hunt in open water should have plenty of space to swim. Be prepared for maintenance in the aquarium. Protect your hand, because the strong jaws and sharp teeth of pufferfish, moray eels, piranhas or wolffish can seriously injure you. A tank separator that allows you to push the fish to one side, clean the glass or gravel and then the other is a good idea. Get the fish used to that kind of maintenance, so when it gets larger, it will be less likely to panic. When purchasing a predator, consider the adult size, but more importantly, think about the food. Some predators will only eat live foods. Fish such as leaf fish are extremely challenging, especially in the winter, when it is more difficult to find large insects or earthworms if you live in North America. Many predators will readily accept frozen whole shrimp or fish, and that will be much easier to provide on a regular basis. Predatory fish feed very aggressively. It is best to avoid feeding live foods to most predatory fish because pike cichlids, wolf fish, barracuda and other predators can easily break their jaws on the glass or rocks when striking at prey. And getting your fish used to feeding on large pellets, frozen shrimp or pieces of fish will make life easier anyhow. Which brings us to an important point. Predatory animals, not just fish, do not normally feed on a regular basis. Most predatory fish are perfectly fine getting fed once a week and will reward you with more activity, better colors and much longer lifespan. In the confined space and limited water movement of the aquarium, many predatory fish can become obese if they are fed on a regular basis. Especially predatory cichlids such as pike cichlids, peacock bass and cichlids such as the ambi or dovi tend to get fat easily and will eventually lose their color and die from being overfed. A slender body shape and slightly concave stomach is not abnormal for predatory fish. The easiest predators are perhaps primitive fish such as polypterus. They readily accept pellet food and are not overly aggressive towards each other or tank mates. The most difficult are highly specialized species such as stingrays that require a lot of space and more regular food. Considering the room needed for your predator and the cost and complexity of feeding the fish is so important. Piranhas take a special place for many of us. As a kid, a swarm of piranhas attacking people in a movie was always my favorite. And years later, some of the CGI for the movie Piranhas 3D was filmed in my fish house. So we will have to make a video on keeping piranhas in the future. I think many of them make good predatory aquarium fish, and most are very easy to keep. We will discuss tank mates in a future video, and how to mitigate the aggression between tank mates and aggressive fish. I also want to show you my favorite small predatory species. Given enough space, will get your fish behaving more naturally. Better than to have a large fish swimming in circles in an undersized aquarium. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out my channel for more videos of fish and nature as well. See you next time.